you're on the chat hour with the twins today's topic tablets specifically use the jobs in the iPad all right guys we talk about the iPad so Apple fanboys be aware viewer discretion is not advised for you you want to come on in come on in what's this little circle come on we know you're out there come on get in the circle <laughs> okay you hear yet okay good let's talk about the iPad 2 I want to say iPad for short once you cover your ears you know you need to hear this now that Logitech great company by the way is <coughs> cheap too for the most part I'm not I don't get paid by them so the iPad 2 Logitech come together and fuck and you get a controller just for the iPad 2 a control a joystick that makes gaming more fun on the iPad why really why but you get watered down it doesn't have the processing speed to handle the newest like Call of Duty that's coming out the Madden that's coming out now it's watered down. It's basically the same principle as putting it on your cell phone, basically. So, why? What's next? A fucking projection keyboard for the iPad? A projector you can use as a fucking projector that has a little light that comes blasting on your wall? What's next, people? Really? Why is everybody obsessed with the iPad? There's all the there's the HP Touch Bar because of the prices everybody's got one. There's a Samsung Galaxy series of tab, the HTC Evo tablets. Yes, I'm using tabs for short. We're making the, this cool, guys. The HP touchpad that apparently has a resurgence. So all these tabs out on the market. Why is the iPad 2 America's number one tab? Why? All you Apple fanboys. Answer and that, girls. and girls, answer that for the rest of you down below. Answer the one for, for the two for. What's next for the tabs, aka tablets? What's next? What's the next accessory you think is going to be out there? So, Round Town System, anything, you name it, put it down below. Make sure you just comment, okay? You don't. You can leave a comment like fake and gay or gay, lame vids. You can troll, it doesn't matter hater so yeah yeah make sure you comment yeah now when you're done people or maybe on your tablets fancy here's co-host number two to tell you more what's up audience I just want to know that uh, tabs or tablets I'm gonna call them tabs what's up with that seriously everyone's going to gaming Oh, and by the way, real quick, the retouch of Curse number one, it's literally a joystick. There's no plural. We didn't forget it. So keep that joystick above your pants. Yes. Man. Yes. Yeah. Don't That's be grabbing game. your joystick below. <laughs> but for real, it's one joystick. So I don't know how the fuck this is supposed to make you better at gaming when it's just one like oh my god yeah that one joystick saved me a point or a touchdown or something it's like sex with one <laughs> no fun we have uh flash enabled android power phones uh we play games we're too broke to pay the 499 for the hd games that are on consoles that are on phones but even if i did i don't see how this would help uh side comment Tell us how the games that are for consoles that are on the tabs and uh, phones like different and how they play the same as the regular games that are on the consoles. So, um, there's any new experiences or anything? But it's just what's all with tabs? What can they do? What can't they do? I mean, they got Flash. They have now a joystick for the iPad. They're coming in 3D. Also with the iPad, no glasses required. And I think. Uh, HP or Sony or another one's gonna have it and later down the road like all of them are Sony's gonna have coming out with its new tab with its first tab yeah and that's probably gonna have no glasses 3d required too most likely because it's Sony you know they're gonna do it uh, 
there's no confirm on the iPad, but you know they're going to do it too. So this whole theory, ever since Sprint did it with 3D phones, no glasses, and the 3DS did it with no glasses, and everything did it with no glasses, 3D, um, everyone's just going to get 3D. It's towards gaming, you get a watered down internet, even if you have flash, it's not truly the internet that you experience through your desktop or laptop or even netbook, it's totally, it's a, it's a little bit different, settles if you, if you're a real geek, you know the specifics, or if you're an average user, the mobile version and the real version are way different, so, so here's my one, the two for, and this two for, see, we already did the one, now it's one for the two. And that is, what's up with tabs? What, not, not the iPad. We well, that's another question, but what, what, what is the allure over for, for tablets for like gaming and surfing the internet versus like a netbook or a laptop, the or, soon to be Chromebook, soon to be Chromebook, and and uh, I think they're called IBM ThinkPads, a little like mini, mini kind of like netbook, but not netbook, laptop thing. It's square with a screen if you've seen them. So what is the allure of these products versus of tabs versus like a, a, a notebook or a desktop? Or th let's just do notebook and netbooks because desktop's not portable. So again, what makes tabs more alluring than than a netbook or a notebook? And notebooks mean laptops for y'all don't know. Don't get no one confused. So it, so. That's all we got to say. We're signing off here, so peace, deuces, we out. Come back next time.